Hi everybody. Um, I wanted to show you something really fun today. I'm actually going to be cooking with you in my kitchen. And um, this is a soup that I um, have created um, just out of things that I had in my um, refrigerator. The first time I ever made a soup out of my refrigerator like this, I was um, I want to say I was probably around six years old, six or seven years old, and I made it with tomato soup, chicken from a rotisserie chicken that was still in the fridge, leftover rice, and carrots, and I called it Carly Surprise Soup. So this is my version today. After making many, many, many soups over many years, um, I have some really good ingredients and you can make any kind of soup that you want at your home. Um, you just have to pick through your refrigerator and find different things, pick through your pantry and your mom, dad, nanny, whoever's helping you can um, figure out some good things to put in your soup. So let, let's see what I have today. Okay, so I want to start with my base stuff. So I've got chicken broth, barley, some kind of pasta, and some grilled chicken. So I pre-cooked all of this so that we can make our soup a lot quicker and we're gonna just stick it in the pot. So after that, I'm gonna put in some green peas. Those are just frozen peas, um, some potatoes, any kind of potatoes some grilled onions, some grilled green bell peppers, some garlic. This is freeze dried garlic. So I had to put it in some water. And then I have a little cup with all these, these parsley, thyme and oregano. They all go together and they all make our soups taste even better. So let's see, I'm gonna start putting them in. Okay, let's see. So the first thing you wanna put in is chicken broth. I can do this one-handed. And Layla's trying to get in the kitchen because she wants to see what delicious thing I'm making. So I put in all of my chicken broth. Make sure it's all in there. And I'm gonna recycle this. I just wanna remind you all that I washed my hands before I started doing this. I didn't tell you, but I wanted to remind you to wash your hands before you start cooking every time. Okay, now I'm gonna put in the noodles because they're the biggest. So I think I'm gonna grab a spoon to do that because it's a little tricky if you don't have a spoon and I only have one hand. So, I'm doing this. Let's go see what I'm doing. There we go. Noodles. This is stuff I just have in my pantry. So whatever you want to use, you do not have to use a recipe. I just put in how much I think I'm going to need. Say, oh, that looks pretty good. See, let's, let's check it out. So the noodles are pretty, look like a pretty good amount in there. They're kind of floating around, but it looks like a good amount. Okay. I'm gonna put in my barley. So this stuff, it, it comes in a bag and I had to cook it for 45 minutes because it's really, really um, crunchy if you don't cook it for super long. I'm gonna put in my chicken. It's looking really, really good. I'm gonna put some peas in. Now the reason I'm putting peas in is because a lot of times when you get soups like um, candle soups, they'll come with peas in them. So they're, they don't have a whole lot of flavor, so they don't take away from the soup itself, but they make it really good and have a lot of vitamins and nutrients. I'm also gonna put in some potatoes because I want a little bit more starch. And again, potatoes are sometimes in our soup. So think about the soups that you like to eat. What's in them and what can you add? I'm gonna put some onions in because that tastes, that adds a little bit of flavor. And I have some green bell peppers because these are my favorite. I pre-cooked them so they're not super duper mushy, um, or they're not super duper crunchy. Okay, I'm gonna stir it up. Oh, that's looking so delicious. Now I have my garlic. 
I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. I think I'm only gonna put half because garlic is really powerful stuff. And I'm gonna put my my seasoning in there, okay? Let's see, that looks pretty good. I don't know if I wanna put the whole thing in. You just want a little bit of seasoning. And I'm gonna stir it up. Oh, it looks so good. Okay. Wow, that looks amazing. I wish I had some carrots, but I don't have any with me in my refrigerator or my pantry. So I will not be adding those today. Um, let's stick this on the stove and I will check back with, in, uh, back with you. And it'll take me about 20 minutes for this to just simmer and cook and everything to melt together and taste really, really delicious. So I will talk to you um, in just a second after it's been 20 minutes. All right, okay, bye. I have waited 20 minutes, which was really hard because I'm hungry, and an extra five minutes to make sure that my soup is cool, and I wanna show you what it looks like. So this is my soup, and I'm gonna scoop it out, and I'm gonna put it in a bowl, and I'm gonna eat it with a soup spoon. So let me go ahead and do that for you so that you can see me trying the soup. Just putting a little bit in there. Can you see? It's a little hard because I'm doing it in a funny way. So I'm gonna taste the soup and see if it tastes good. It's like Miss Kylie says, we always have to try our soup. Okay. Let's see if it's any good. I'm gonna blow on it because it's still a little bit hot even though I let it cool down for an extra five minutes. Mmm, that's really good. I can taste all of the ingredients that I put in. I can taste the oregano and this, uh, what else did I put in? Parsley and the garlic. I'm glad I didn't put too much garlic in though. I was worried that the green bell peppers were going to be too strong, but they taste just right. I'm going to try some noodle. That's really good. So class, I would love for you to try to make your own version of your own personal surprise soup. So like I said, mine is called Carly Surprise. So it'll be whatever you wanna call it, okay? Um, so let me know if you like, if you try my soup, if you make your own kind of soup and um, tell me what you put in it what you had around your house. I would love to see and hopefully we'll do another kind of cooking video soon. So thanks for watching. Bye.